all right race fans welcome live tonight here phoenix international speedway and we're about to do some go fast racing that's right home net hosting and pc repair cup series here with the go fast racing guys i'm about to bring this thing to you live here tonight and they got uh, some awesome stuff man happening as so we're gonna fly right here on the middle qualifying as you see these awesome uh, guys in the cup machines well i have uh myself joe white up here in the booth I got Tim McBriar. He's done a little updating right now, but Tim, how you doing tonight? I'm doing great, Joe. How you doing? Been doing awesome, man. And I tell you, we're about to uh, about to see some awesome racing here as these boys are flying around here and some qualifying. You know, they're uh, they're getting kind of set. They're getting kind of um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, uh, <laughs> getting ready. How's that? I'm about ready to turn the flip in my chair, there, Joe. <laughs> But don't do that. I don't want you to hurt yourself, man. I. Oh, I'm ready. My hair standing up. I laid it back down. It stood right back up. You got hair? A little bit. Oh, okay. All right. There you go. All right. I'll give you that one. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, it should be a good race here tonight. These guys, man, are uh, they going to put on a good show. Now, Phoenix is one of these tracks where it's just a tough track, you know, in general. You talking about tough? Oh Lord! Turn yeah. four, three and four is the toughest one on here. Uh, you got to really go in that turn with caution. And you also got to look at the um, what they call it—the dog leg right there that can upset the car when you go down into it. It's kind of like a little bump. Oh yeah, hit a jump with you if you ain't careful. And you, you know uh -huh. when you we talk about that too is um you know these guys man they'll go flying off in there, so you got to be very uh, mindful as we're here tonight here with the go fast racing boys, and it looks like uh they're in the middle of qualifying right now. What's going on, John? How are you doing out there? Four. all right well i'll tell you what uh looks like qualifying isn't the, the number one machine right there he's kind of just slowly creeping around the track for some reason he's kind of being good but looks like eric mitt is the man on point right now and he might put that thing out what's going on out there uh you know we see we got a lot of folks out there tonight i want to appreciate everybody tuning in as, as, as always and i hope you enjoy the show that uh yeah, myself, Tim, and you know, it's not just about me and Tim, but these guys here at Phoenix, you know, they put on a phenomenal show. And you know, we was talking about a minute here, Tim. I, this track, it's just one of them handful style tracks. Yes, it is, Joe. Uh, I'll be with y'all in just a minute because everything on here, I gotta, I gotta refresh. Well, you refresh, man, and be good. I'm cool on my stew, bro. Not did you just man. say cool on your stool yes i did <laughs> okay well that's a new one tim is cool on the stool and uh i'm gonna be cool on the mic because tonight we're live at phoenix and guess what qualifying is out of the way and folks we're about to grid these boys up here so let's throw the grid in order because that man, Eric Mitt, puts it on pole along with Joshua Banks in second. Third place, Smith, John Boswell. Bonwell, excuse me. Boswell, don't worry, I got Boswell, but Bonwell. And we know mom out there is going to be cheering for him. Todd Cray sitting in fourth. Fifth place, man, Tyler Cox. Joe Burchett there in sixth, seventh place. Dylan Voss. And you got Mark Nadeau starting in eighth place spot. Ninth place, man, Jeff Smiths. And then rounds out the top 10, we got John Morrison. As we look through the rest of this field, we got a who's who here to go fast racing. And it looks like man, it's an all-star studded field here tonight. 
I can't wait till it gets started there, Joe. Uh, I'll be in there in a minute. I can't see a blooming thing but this thing on here update. <laughs> Tim is Tim is in the process of flying into the track, folks, right now. So he is remotely in the air talking to us, and he is going to come in via helicopter or his airplane one in the infield. So hang on. I'm going to land my airplane over there on the other side. There you go. You gonna land the airplane on the other side? <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, folks. We're live here tonight again. Home net hosting a PC repair cup series. Go fast racing. Phoenix International Speed uh, Speedway. I call it Speedway but Raceway. Avidale, USA. I mean, don't, don't know what that's at. Oh well, well, I guess I do know what that's at. It's in Phoenix, duh. Um, I had a uh, redneck moment there for a second. <laughs> you did, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I did. It was like, yeah, I don't know oh, where that's at. Boy, wait a minute. I caught that one. Shoo! Oh, that was a, uh, I, mm, that was good. <laughs> oh Come man! Come by me up here. There you go. Like I say, y'all watch out up there, so Tim don't take your head off when he flies in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll be there in about ten minutes. In hey, ten minutes. Maybe not that many. Superstar Tim, he will be in in ten minutes. That was the cloud. And you're right there, John, uh, John out chat there. Um, Phoenix is one of these tracks where it will be very, very tricky. Very, very, uh, these guys are going to have to be very careful out here, you know, um, and, and that's the one biggest thing about this track. As the pace car is off, we're going green flag racing here tonight. 155 laps are going to be in the books as these boys, man, are going to take off here for the go fast racing series. Green flags in the air. We're flying and racing here, and they already are beating and banging up front with the leader. I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. Nope, Tim's almost here at the racetrack. They're racing around here, and I tell you right now, Eric pulls out front with the 07 of Josh Bonwell. They're in second. Joshua Banks, he's in third. They already got a little contact. They were beating and banging, rubbing paint just a little bit. And that's the thing about this track. You got to be very careful coming off that turn. Throttle control. This is one of these tracks when I talk about skill tracks, and when I'm always yapping about that, and I say you got to have skill, you got to have a, you know, a, a skill style track and, and talent. These are one. Of, this is one of these tracks where I'm talking about because uh, breaking points, uh, throttle control, all that matters here. So you got to be very careful. So right now, single file line. We're seeing a lot of patience out here. You know, we've got 22. Uh, some awesome drivers here. You know what I say, Tim? Some bad, fast drivers and some bad, fast cars. They're about to do some bad, fast things out here in the desert. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't have no redneck moment, my ten. I'm, I'm getting ready. I, I hope that grass ain't slick. That's it. It's what I'm talking about. Tim's coming in here. We're going to have a good race. Up front, though, man, Eric, he's out front there. Josh Bonwell, he's sitting in second. Joshua Banks there in third. Tyler Cox fourth. Todd Cray. Sitting in the fifth place spot. Mother. Race right now has actually got to be around about the sixth place. Uh, Joe Burchett. He's working over Martin Adu right there a little bit. But they're still single file throughout this whole entire track here. I'm going back here in the back. You know, back here about the Steve Parks and whatnot. Looks like they're trying to. Oh, two cars sideways, the 87. Well, Tim, I tell you what, that was a good driving job by the 87 of Rick, Rick Mitchell. He held on to the 87. He wasn't around there skidding that thing sideways. I heard that. That was a good save there, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And he got that good wrench machine. But, boy, he could have. that could have been disastrous for him. I heard that. I wonder how this is going to be for me. <laughs> hey, that's all right. You'll be good. Here I come. Oh, now he's up in the wall, the 87. What, just, you know, one bad, one bad start here. Now it's just turning out to be a disaster for him here at Phoenix. Ain't that something? It don't take but just a tick of the tape. It does. And here's the thing, too, Tim. We talked earlier about some of these drivers. They were talking about what this track was and how it felt. Slick. Well, that's kind of what it's looking like right now. Yes, it happened to him anyway, didn't it? Yes, it did. He has just fallen off the pace, just trying to hang on for everything he can. Touchdown. All right. Tim's in the neighborhood tonight. 
I'm looking at the 41 there. 41? What's up front? That's Joe Burchett. He's got a nice looking paint job out there too, and uh, he's actually running in the fifth place spot. Yeah, it'd take me a few minutes to walk across here. I'll be there in a second. <clears throat> That's right, John. Vaughn Griffin Jr. out there style. That's what he was doing. Well, Eric is uh, putting hurt on the field. He's about eight tenths up in front of Josh Bonwell right now, who has actually got his hands a little bit full with Joshua Banks, who is closing in. And the one thing I'm saying about these guys right now is they're being very, very patient because they understand this track out here. The one thing about Phoenix, it can step out and bite you. And a heartbeat, Joe. That turn four, three, and four is murder on you sometimes. Battle for Eric, second. Eric Mick, way out there. He's doing good. There he is. Got a one second lead. Yeah, I got set down now. I'm all right. All right. Good deal. Get well, we got a good battle going on here for the second, third, fourth. Eyes. We don't get too much grass, you know. <laughs> Leave a few a little bit for the cows, okay? Oh, all right. We got a Chevy racer out there. And, uh, we just gonna have to kick him out of the chat because he's called Chevy Racer. He should be called Ford Racer. <laughs> anyway, he's pulling holy for the holy. <laughs> I didn't believe you said that. Oh uh, Lord, Lord, I'm trying to stay unbiased, Tim. Come on now. Uh, no, but uh, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, kick him out. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling for the 22 of Evan Marlowe, though, who is right now running in the 13th place spot. Ain't bad. No, and actually, you know, Evan last week. If you remember correctly, Tim, Evan had a very good run. He was back there running about 13, 15 place all, all race long. And the next thing we know, he got up our man in the top five for a while. Yes, he did, Joe. I pushed the wrong button. This thing don't blow up. Don't do that, man. We don't want nothing blowing up. Don't want no cars blowing up. Right now, Evan Marlowe's got his hands full with Austin Marion back there, who was uh, up underneath him. Excuse me, the 30, Scott Neslin, who just took the pass on him there for the 13th. So Evan falls back to 14th place right now. And uh, those guys are gonna... See, now, wait a minute. It's a conflict of interest. Uh, Tim, Tim, now listen to me. It's a conflict of interest right here, I believe. And I want you to just understand. The Chevy Racer 330 out in the chat says, let's go 22, Evan Marlowe. Now, Evan Marlowe in the 22 is driving a Ford. I'm looking dead at him. <laughs> See, now I like Evan too. But come on, man. <laughs> oh, I like Evan. <laughs> I like the way he's driving. How's that? Nah, all right. Anyways, I just thought uh, I'd throw that out. That was pretty good. <laughs> he's he's um, holding his own right now. He's using that yeah. dog leg too. He is. Now, I'll tell you what, another mover up here, a guy right behind him right there, Steve, uh, Stephen Parks. And at number one, he started 21st. He's coming up to the 16th place spot right now. And it looks like he's on the move. Now, he didn't have the best of uh, qualifying runs, but he actually was just going very slow. And I think he's just going to take the uh, idea of maybe try to be patient, work his way to the front. Here he comes. He got on the inside of Austin. I mean, uh, yeah, Austin, man. Yep. Good battle going on back there between them. I don't believe he's gonna be able to hold it though. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be side by side. Coming out of turn four, you really, yeah, really yeah, gotta yeah. be easy on that throttle. We're under caution. Under caution. I did not see it. Oh, number five, Timothy Gills. Oh, he just came in there hot and heavy into the turn, and that thing shot up to the wall, slaps the right side of it, spun around, single car incident. Looked like he just drove it in there a little bit too hard. Yeah, he did. Made a pancake out of it, didn't he? Yes, he did. Looked like he hit the NOS button and that thing just shot up the track. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. I swear. It didn't go in. What are you talking about? Coming back. Ah, I got you. <laughs> Chevy Racer says that's his best friend. Don't worry. He'll be at Martinsville, and he'll be in a Chevy. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, I understand <laughs> that, but he didn't pit. Oh, no, I was talking to the guy out in the chat. That's what the 
Well, everybody's on pit road right now. Eric, bring him in, ain't he? Yes, he is. Let's check out some pits times here, here and see who's actually going to uh, win the race off pit road. Look like Dylan Voss. I see. Yeah, so far so good. Our pole sitter right there, Eric, pulls it into his number one stop. Got a feeling everybody's going to get uh, four tires and fuel. And he's going to he win the race. He yep. beat him. He beat him out. Oh, yeah. Tyler Cox is right behind him. Number 14. Josh I appreciate it, Jordan. Bonwell. Yep. And, and, you know, the, the two guys up front there, uh, John Morris and uh, Dylan Fa Voss, you know, they didn't take a pit stop. Oh, they didn't? No, but they probably will. They probably just stayed. Yeah, they're on pit road now. What's up, Jordan? How you doing, man? Well, we're... Uh, this morning, lead a race. Yeah, man, to get a few, few bonus points. Well, folks, here we're live here tonight. Phoenix International Speedway for the Go Fast Racing. Home Net Hosting and PC Repair here live. And with the Cup Series with these boys here at uh, Go Fast. And myself with Tim up here in the booth. And it's been a, you know, it's been a good race. They were kind of pacing there. First caution, single car wreck. Just kind of looked like old Tim drove it in our little hard, got right up into the wall. You know, no harm, no foul. Yeah, he, he did it on his own, Joe. Yeah, you got to hate that on him. Yeah, he was running pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. We got we got Tyler Cox right there, and we got Josh Bombwell right behind him, and it's going to be a race right here. Yes, it is. Tyler Cox right there. You and Josh Bombwell. We don't see Mom out in the chat yet, though. Here comes Joe Burchett. Look out. Uh oh, hanging on to it. Joe Burchett's going to be in fourth place. Yeah, you know, we would think that some of these uh, restarts out here would be kind of, um, I don't know, iffy, hairy, either way you want to think about it. But uh, so far, these guys have been pretty patient on the starts. Yeah. Tell you what, coming out of pit road was rough on them. Absolutely. You want to take us to the green, Tim? Yeah, I'll take you back there. All right, let's go to it. All right, everybody, let's tighten her up, get ready to go. We're getting ready to go back green flag. I'm talking about we're going back racing. Let's see the pace car there. He's in turn three and four. We're getting ready to go green. Pace car coming around turn four. Pace car is in. We're going green. Green, green. Flag. Green, flag. green flag drop. Yeah, we are. And Eric gets a good jump out there. Tyler Cox going to try to do a crossover for the 41. Uh, Joe Burchett's on the outside of the 07 and the 14. Yes, he is. I, I knew he was coming. Yeah, riding along here with him right now and just seeing what he actually can do. That's Josh Bonwell right there in the third place. We've got a battle up uh, for the second spot there, though. That's actually for uh, second and third. Josh Bonwell coming up behind him there. He gonna, I think he's going to play it cool on this one. Yep, absolutely. Remember what he said last week there? What's that? He's going to take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. Why not? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, and, and, you know, a lot of these guys right now, are, are looks like they're taking it very easy. And I think that's just something, you know, we were talking to Skylar before the race, remember there, and, um, they, oh, we got a car spinning to 40 of Scott Neslin. Whoa, big crash in the back. Oh, boy. Number 40? I believe it was number 40, yeah. Mark Nadu. Yeah, I think it was 40 or... Um, Ain't nothing wrong with Mark car. Get, look at the 30. Look at the 30 machine. I think that's what it was. We'll go back here. I want to say that that was a 40. Let me see if I can get another shot at the side. It is the 40 machine. That's what I thought. Yeah, but it ain't nothing wrong yeah. with it. Oh, there it is. 
Go back there's one more 30. time. Yeah, it was the 40 machine. Go back here on the 40. He actually got in contact with, uh, I don't know who that was right beside him. Oh, the 61 and him got together, just a little contact, and they almost saved it. The 40, though, just drove up into the wall. And then from there, it kind of was a uh, chain reaction. Everybody checking up. Yeah, Martin Adu went back to the 21st place there, Joe. He, yeah. He was doing good, too. He was. He was up front there. Just a little contact between him and the 61 of uh, Jeff Smith. You know, just and that's just how it happens around here. Things happen so quick. You know, no time to react or anything. No. Well, he's back there with Rick Mitchell and Carl Higgins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, folks, I'll tell you what. Uh, let us know how everything sounds, looks out there to you. And uh, hopefully we don't have any technical difficulties. Last night, I pulled my hair out, man. I had to call the ISP and tell them about it because, man. Whew. But anyways, if it's your first time out there, hit a like, hit a sub. Um, you know, hit a share. If you don't like what you see, well, there's a little thumb down button. You can hit it, too. And I still appreciate you coming by. And Tim, he'll, uh, he'll give you a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> I got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, too. <laughs> hey, I got some peanut butter M&Ms. I love peanut butter. I bought five jars the other day, Joe. Holy cow. I told you I was going to buy me some peanut butter. Hey, I think, you remember, I think I remember you saying that. Get some beanie sausages, too? Hey, I didn't get none of them. They didn't have oh, none. Oh, man, I tell you. I love beanies. Now, my wife, she don't. But I oh, love yeah, them. I do, too. I love potted meat, too. Sandwiches, yes. Yes, God, yes. Awesome. You can tell we from the south. Yes, that's right. <laughs> George, George says we need to take over Fox and NBC. Well, so, uh, <laughs> we're southern born and southern bred there, George. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, I don't know if we need to take over. I don't know if we're good enough to take over them or not yet, but uh, we, we try our best. But, folks, i tell you what, what is good racing so far here tonight at Phoenix and these boys out here are uh, doing good. Yeah. I don't know I what that was. My I wife just come blowing by me. Eric Mick's doing a good job there, Joe. He didn't run up there last week, did he? No. But my wife just come blowing by here, man. Yeah, I was what in the world was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Thought the house was on fire. <laughs> She was about as fast as these guys are tonight here at Phoenix. I heard that. Oh, Lordy, I tell you. Well, folks, we appreciate, man, you like uh, the commentating and like what we offer up here. It's always fun. I enjoy it. I've, I've said it a million times. I appreciate, man, Tim, being up here in the booth with me. It's uh, it's awesome. I appreciate these guys from Go Fast Racing here letting us uh, be able to bring this thing here to you with online simracingnetwork.com and bringing the coverage here for live YouTube twitch and also i racing live here tonight and tim i know he's all giddy because he's on the center stage take him to the grid buddy take him. all right well that's what we're about to do pace lights are off here we're about to go great ring front green flat you green. know what never mind green yes i got it out there <laughs> yeah. green green flag racing here tonight at phoenix gonna be lap 20 when they cross the line it'll be lap 28 or lap 27 right now 155 as pace cars coming out of turn four here, Eric up front at number seven. He's going to lead these bad boys and these awesome machines off. Pace cars in. We're going green flag racing. Eric hammers down. He gets a good start. Tyler Cox is right there with him, though. Josh Monwell behind him. He's going to lead up there. He's going to get him crossed over. They do. That leaves the door open for the 41, though, in a turn one. It sure did. Absolutely, and the 41 is going to take it down to the dog leg. Is they're going to go two by two right there, going into turn number three. Let's see if that inside line, turn four is where you got to be very careful getting back on the throttle. Yo, he opened that door wide open for him, though. He shut it. Yep, 41. Now he's got his hands full with the seven machine right behind him. That seven is Josh Bonwell as he drives it on the inside to go down through the dog leg. As if he can hold it, he does. He'll take that spot away. Yeah, he did. He done it pretty cool, didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, drove it on down there on the uh, apron just a little bit. Took that spot away. And Scott Scott Neslin right there in the 30 machine. He's right behind him. We've got a good battle going on back here. 61 of Jeff Jane, uh, James. 
Morello? Is that how you say that? I have to find it first. Yeah, no doubt. Well, James Loreno. Loreno, okay. Right now, we're about side by side right here for about the seventh on back position to 19 to Dylan Voss. He's looking pretty good so far on the outside. Joshua Banks, Todd Cray right there as they come out of turn four to complete this lap 30. We're at lap 31 here, 155 in the books. It's a very fantastic race. And right now, they're, for these guys men to do what they're doing in the back here so far, Tim, they're doing very well to be patient, not be on top of each other. Yes, he is. i tell you something else, Joe. At I can't believe he got out front on this track like that. Yeah, no doubt. What's going on, Super Super Dave? That's uh, Dave Roach out there, man, the one-handed man. I guess hey, he took Dave, the night off. Hey, Dave, how's that hand doing, buddy? Yeah, I think he's going to take the night off. That's my buddy right there, Joe. Ah, okay. Look at Skylar Allen, man. He's up in the 10th place right now. He's trying to push that 96 machine up there, but I'll tell you what, Todd Cray in the 21, he moves around him. And Skyler's just uh, right there on the back deck. There's a good battle going on back here at 10th. Yeah, 10th place there. Hey, that's Todd Cray. Yep. Skyler's coming up in level there at 10th. He's doing pretty good tonight. Yeah, he Hold is. To it. Yeah. No doubt about it. That's a good race so far. Oh, look how high Eric Mick going up on that wall there. Yeah, got to hang on to it. You got to get up that high to get that corner, buddy. Yeah. Well, Dave Roach out there said he's got some plates and screws, but he's going to be racing tomorrow. All right, buddy. I, I wish you a, re a quick recovery there, but Dave. Yeah, no doubt. Well, Skylar Allen's falling back just a little bit. He's got guys, man, just uh, coming on his inside right there, and Joshua Banks moves it up in the 10th. He's got a little damage. You see a little contact coming off the wall. Those guys just get a little high coming out of turn four, Tim. Yeah, they are. Oh, by the way, Dave, I got your uh, your pictures, okay? Man, I'll tell you what. Look, I'm, I'm riding along with Joshua Banks. I don't know if you notice this there. Look on the back end of that 21 of Todd Cray. Um, he's got pets in paradise. He's got a bird, or, or or looks like a crocodile, or something on the back end of it. Pets in paradise, buddy. Okay, I mean, I don't know what that means, but okay. If I can't yeah. get my side view, side, I got side a good side. side. What is that? There we he go. Got, yeah, that's he's a got a, that's a dog. That's a dog. No, that's a dog. Is that a dog? Or yeah, I got a side shot. I got a side shot here of him, and uh, looks like uh, Scooby Doo. Could be. Oh, that's Mr. Scruffy. What's his name? Oh, Scruffy. Okay, I got. Then he's got a little white dog on the back end of it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's uh that's like uh what's his name. Uh, what oh, wait, wait a minute. Hey, we just got a confirmation that Eric out there said, yes, that's Todd's actual business. Okay. You know, and I've said this before, Tim, about sim racing. Sim racing in a hole and uh, actual sponsors and stuff. It's always good to see guys out here, you know, representing actual real businesses and real things. So definitely that is cool that the 21 is uh, running his own business out there. Pets in Paradise. Maybe get some more info about uh what pets in paradise is eric kind of give me some uh, info out there in the chat what do they do i know one thing he's working on this dylan boss up here dylan boss yep hang on just a second i'm trying Talking about that one right there, uh, Eliza. Well, somebody out there asked about the 01, but I don't see an 01. I see a 1 out there. You see an 01? I don't see an 01. I see a 1. Uh, nope. Steve Parks in the 1 machine. Now, he does have a nice looking paint job. Paul's, Paul's Flight. Remember the Stephen Parks that drove for NASCAR? You know, and every time I see his name, that's the one thing I think about, too. 
Me too, man. I can't help it. <laughs> I can't either. Oh, we got Steve 35 Park. or 36 Joshua Banks is coming underneath uh, underneath Todd here. He is going to work him over for that sixth place spot. 36 there. Joshua Banks looks on the inside. He's going to be able to hold it coming out of four. That's going to be a tricky spot right there. Boy, it gets slick right there, Joe. Especially, they already got 20-something laps on them tires. And that's where it starts getting into the danger zone. Got to be very careful. Be mindful of your throttle and brake. Well, they're still glued side by side. See if that uh, 36 there machine there, Joshua can clear him. Looks like he's got him cleared right now. They come off four. Yep, he's going to make the pass on him. Barely. Barely. Boy, that nose was off. close. Whoa, well, I'll tell you what, 22 of Evan Marlowe came out of turn four sideways. Held on to it, though, didn't he? He did. He was testing the back tires out a little bit. I swear, when I get down here looking at these cars like this, I move my steering wheel like I'm driving it. Hey, get excited <laughs> to get the realism. <laughs> Can that help him? <laughs> hey, well, I, if it does, let me know. If it does, I quit smoking cigars. Yeah, or quit putting whatever you got in that cigar in there. Dang, I ain't got nothing in that cigar now. <laughs> and you better, you better find out who's selling them things to you. Yeah, boy. <laughs> There's James Loreno up. Well, I'll tell you what, Eric, uh, Eric Mick right now, he's still up our command and lead. He's got a 1.1 seconds over Tyler Cox. He has pretty yeah, much Joe. led every lap so far. Yeah, Joe is backed up too. Joe Perchett, he's back there in the um, third place, along with Josh Bonwell. About another uh, second behind him, ain't he? Yep, yep. Scott Neslin, he rounds out the top five. and got uh, Dylan Voss there in six. Joshua Banks in seventh. Todd Cray, eight. James uh, Lorenzo, Lorenzo, eh, I forget it. James sitting in ninth, and Evan Marlowe in tenth. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to have to get him up in the booth and ask him how to pronounce his last name. Lorello, I think. <laughs> I, I, yeah, Lorello. Yeah, I'm going to have to bring him up here, man. If we get another caution, maybe we'll find. If he's out here in the team speak, we'll try to, um, we'll try to, yeah, he's out. I see him up there. Maybe we'll try to get him down here in the, in, in the booth and get an interview with him. And, uh, if, if we get another caution or something, just. How you pronounce your last name? <laughs> I believe you can hit it. Lorello. What would you say? Lorello. Lorello? Mm-hmm. Lorello. I think that's it. Hey, either way, we'll figure it out. Hey, and like I say, it's another thing. We appreciate these drivers out here working with us. I know me personally, I don't like to speak for anybody else, but you know, my Southern accent steps on me a lot. So I have trouble with some names, you know. And I ain't got a top pick of thing being from the South. There you go, absolutely. The way I talk, oh, I ain't got no teeth. That's what's wrong with me. Well, I had a few gone, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John out there in the chat says he thinks of Jerry Nadu when he sees the uh, the um, the other guy out there that it's actually um, Mark Nadu. Mark. Yeah, it, oh. it reminds me of Jerry too. Yep. Yeah, the Steve Parks one's the one that gets me off on it, man. Every once in a while, it gets me off track some. So, well, we've only got one car out of the race here tonight. That's uh, Timothy Gills. He hit the wall earlier on, caused a caution. Uh, so we've got 21 drivers out here still. Everybody's still in the green. On you know. Uh, Lead lap as of right now here. Tonight, man, we're looking really good here. The Go Fast Racing League here. The Home Net Hosting and PC Repair Cup Series. Go Fast Racing dot US here tonight at Phoenix City International Speedway. I appreciate everybody, man, tuning in. Yeah, he, he did hit that wall pretty hard. Yeah, he smacked the side of that thing. Yeah. I always say whammo. 
Well, it was a wham, too. Yeah. That's, that's a band. God dog it. You remember that band? Wham, who what? Wham. Wham? Yeah, you remember the band, Wham? You're old enough to remember Wham? I should remember them from dirt. I don't know. No, oh, man. That Wham, way back in the days. It was like, a, like an 80s band. Way early. Never mind. Look up on I, Google. I, I, I didn't <laughs> listen to them people. What? <sighs> Just because they listen to me in here. Look. <laughs> I didn't listen to man half the country stuff back there, but I heard it. Still looking at Bo, the, but uh, Joe Burchett. That true. Joe Burchett's looking pretty good right now in the 41. He's holding on to third place. You got Josh Bonwell right there in the fourth. Dylan Voss sitting in the fifth place. These guys are a little spread out right now, and uh, you know that's. It's actually kind of, you know, kind of good, kind of, you know, I guess I don't really want to say bad, but it's kind of good on their end because being very patient throughout the whole entire race because this track here, Tim, is, is notorious for, uh, you know, upsetting cars and cautions. Earn four, if you get on that yellow line, you come around. True. I understand that. Yep. All right, look. Eric's giving you a little history lesson. You know who George Michaels is, right? All right. Okay, he was the lead singer for Wham. I know George Michael. Okay, he was the lead singer. I didn't know they. Ch I didn't know they. They called it that. Yeah, man. I right, look it up on Google after the race. You'd be surprised. Oh Lord. <laughs> Do what I can. Uh, Do. Yeah. Well, we got a good run, man, right here for uh, 11th and 12th. Uh, Evan Marlowe, Jeff Smith. He's right there on his back de deck lid. Evan's got uh, his hands full with that 61. He does, and I believe he got into him a while ago, didn't he? Absolutely. Uh -oh. He's playing it smart now, Jeff Smith is. Oh, okay. Check this out. I got me some information here, uh, Tim. The uh, Pets in Paradise. Grooming. Pet supply, pet food. It's in Hamilton Square, New Jersey. Uh, pamper your pets. Debbie Cray founded the Pets in Paradise on the principle that uh, big chain pet stores, grooming facilities, and her corporation practice and philosophies represent the uh, enthusiast of how the pets and everyone else. So uh, check it out. Check out it. You can check these guys out at pet, petsinparadise.com. Uh, they've been in business for over 15 years, and then, uh, well, they've been doing it for over 15 years. Been in business looks like about around about four years, a little over four. So, check them out on the website. It gives you a lot of great information about them. Pets in Paradise, and that's that man out there, Todd Cray, right now running here. So, a little shout out, just a little bit of uh, real sponsors out there. Joe, does he have a, a ocean that boy? Does he have a what? That gentleman I, I own. I said, does he have an ocean front uh, view? Well, I don't know about all that. It's just it's just a uh, pet grooming place. I know. Oh, no, I check will. them out on the website. I mean, check it out. Petsinparadise.com. I, I just looked it up on my phone. I don't go in them places because I'm afraid they get a hold of me. You ain't got enough hair. Well, I know it. They would they'd probably try to glue some on me. Come on down here. We, we are up. Well, actually, where you're at. Come on up here. We'll glue some on you. No. <laughs> oh, you're put some duct tape. Pulling your out. We'll put some duct tape on it. How's that? Oh Lord. Uh, uh that's right. You're right, John. You don't want to uh, give a good shout out here to the title sponsor of OSR Network Online SimRacingNetwork.com, SimSpeedShop.com. Check those guys out at SimSpeedShop.com. If you're looking for a button box. Or uh, anything for your sim, uh, sim rig, sim needs, or anything like that. Check those uh, out. That was my uh, dryer out there telling me everything's ready. But simspeedshop.com, you can check that out. Uh, they're coming on board here for the 2018 season here on board for the title sponsor of Online Sim Racing Network. I appreciate it, the guys. Uh, Jason Eisenhower and Adam Eisenhower do a fantastic job. But, hey, check them out on Facebook at Sim Speed Shop. Check them out on Twitter at Sim Speed Shop. 
Hashtag get a box. Get rid of the mouse, man. Get you a box out there. Throw some buttons. I tell you what, I got people, uh, them boys are, are brothers, and they're good people because I've raced with them uh, last year, all year. Jason, them, they're, they're good people. Yes, they are. I've talked to them a couple times. That's been a good race so far. This guy's got a little spread out right now. Eric has led every lap of the race right now from the green on and that number seven machine and he's out front still but tyler cox he is running him down tim yes he is i've been noticing that he put four tens on him since we started talking yeah so we're uh, watching the battle up here just to see if uh if actually uh tyler can move in and he is running him down so Later on this run, but the one thing is, we're on a very good long run so far here. That's the, kind of the first long, good green flag run we had. They've been out there for 47 laps on their tires. Yeah, and he better watch it because he's going low like that. He's going to eat them tires, flap up. Well, at least they know how far they can go. All right. I never did like painting. You didn't like, oh yeah yeah it's not one of my favorite tracks but it you know it, it it is a very it's a technical style track uh one of those tracks where you got to be very careful at yes it is joe and it's better without that dog leg well the dog leg's no, always there yeah but uh, the the real track i mean well the real track's got a dog leg well, they can take that dog leg out. Well, if you take the dog's leg off, you won't have no leg. I know that. Okay, well, then why you want to take his leg off for? Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you're talking about. You, <laughs> know, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you notice the next stand outside that dog leg, too. You know yeah, well, that? and you know, and the reason is we talked about it here in the pre race is because you can go down on there. You can, We've seen them do it three, four wide going there uh, through that front stretch part. Uh, but the problem is when you go down there, it can upset the car so much because there's a bump going there. But we got a battle for the lead. Tyler Cox has pulled up on the outside, or excuse me, on the back tailgate of the seven there of Eric on the uh, front. And we're going to see if he actually can make it around the leader. So it's taking him a while to catch him, but he finally has caught him. Yeah, ain't them our uh, teammates? Well, one's in a Ford, one's in a Toyota. I'm not sure. Well, I ain't sure. Oh boy, he's going up there hard, ain't he? Here he come. Well, I thought he was. Yeah, I tell you, it, it, you're right. Technical track is, is what I call uh, Phoenix. That's what I was naming it. You can see the seven right now. He's been out there for 52 laps. The top three guys, actually top four, have all been out there on a 52 lap. A lot of guys have been out there very long. A look at Tyler Cox move right up on the back end. He's gonna try to unnerve that number seven of Eric and see if he can't make him make a mistake. Only way he's gonna get around him, Joe. Unless he puts the boot to him. That's right. He's gonna have to boot him or do something. Tyler Cox got that Toyota looking good and been very patient too. He understands he's got a maybe a tad bit faster car than the seven, but that seven up there of Eric is using the line that he needs to get around. So he is definitely using patience. And the reason being is because he's been out there just as long. He doesn't have, you know, full blown tires like he needs. So he's got to be very careful also. It does. There he goes. Gonna look on the inside. Has tried everything here he comes see if we can hold it down on the inside it's going to be tough on these older style tires because that outside is going to get such a good run and it did you saw the seven just be able to pull away on it coming out of the turn yep but a very good battle going on here between these two
Well, still a good battle up front between the top two here. Tyler Cox right there in the second place spot. You got old Eric Mitch right behind him. Those two boys, man, are definitely uh, running pretty good so far. Let's just gonna see, man, if actually uh, Tyler can make a move on him here. Dylan Voss has got Joshua Banks all over him back here. Yeah, in, that's about well, for uh, third. Six. Yeah, third. Well, that's a third and fourth right there. He just passed. A fourth and fifth, excuse yeah. me. My bad. Yeah, fourth, fourth and fifth. And fifth. That's, oh, here he comes. He's looking. Couldn't quite get it done. Joshua Banks there. He had to go back in line. Oh, he was a hammering on it, too. You could hear it. Going zoom, zoom. Well, maybe not that way. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Eric <laughs> <laughs> Mick still holding Tyler Cox off. Joe Burchett is still back there about, about two seconds back. Yeah, Joe was just kind of in the middle of all these battles going on. And, you know, up front you got Eric right there, Tyler Cox on his back end. And Joe Burchett's just kind of in the middle. He's 1.9 seconds off the leader. But it's about another, oh, it's a solid probably four seconds back to the fourth and fifth place, which you see uh, Dylan Voss. Uh, Joshua Banks and Todd Gray right there, all three of those machines in a battle. Here comes Tyler. He's down under yep. him, Joe. Oh, can he get it done? No, can't hang on coming no. out of turn four. Boy, push that was a good driving. Him. Yeah, but that was a good oh. driving job because normally you'd see the guy push up into him and right into the door of him. But he held on to it. He didn't push up into him. No, he didn't. He's going to try it Here again. Left to the again. inside. Yeah, he got him this time, I believe. Uh, he drove it off in there, and Eric's just going to let yellow flags out. Oh, no. Yeah, he got it before the yellow flag come out. He did. And that's Rick, that's, uh, Rick Mitchell Jr. Go back and, oh, him and Skylar Allen got together, coming out of the turn. Skylar just barely caught the tail end there. Like Skylar just kind of pushed up a little bit coming out of the turn. Those two made contact. Wow, that had to hurt. But did, yeah, but yeah, I don't think it's toy car up though. Um, uh, didn't on Skylar's Rick hit the wall pretty good on the inside. But here's what this does. I mean, these guys have been out here for 60 laps, 50 some 60 laps. They're probably all out here going yay for the caution because now they can come in and get four fresh tires and fuel, and that's what they're doing. Boy, don't you know it. They need it bad. Absolutely. Well, let's watch see the race on pit road here. Blake out there said he wanted to see how that played out. Well, it played out. Tyler got around him. Yeah, it did. Right there, one right for right, right <laughs> as a caution come out. Absolutely. Just as, just as soon as he got around him, the caution come out. Well, it's still going to benefit a little bit here, the seven. Is he going to win it? No, not actually going to lose two spots on pit road. The number seven will couple spots there so wow what a battle off pit road Tyler Cox got off pit road first you got Joe Perchett right behind him well as promised we're gonna bring this man up here in the booth he's in the number 13 machine out there James I'm gonna bring him up here and we're gonna find out how to say that last name James is Joe White in the booth you got a copy I hear you well, James, I'll tell you what, yeah, you've been running pretty good in the top 10 all night long and looking good, but me and Tim have a most famous question to ask. How in the world do you pronounce your last name? <laughs> it's Lorello, nothing fancy. Lorello. Okay. I was close. I was a little Lorello. Off. I think I've said Lorenzo, Lorolo, Lorella. Uh, we've said everything, but probably the right one. But either way, we had to get you up here and ask. And, I mean, how's the car feel? How's the track feeling? Appreciate it, fellas. Uh, it's it's slick out here off three and four if you if you overrun it, but other than that, it's pretty good. Good deal. Well, I tell you, you think you got a car to come up front with? 
I think I can if I could just hang on and the restarts. All right. Tell us a little bit about that sponsor on the side there. Yeah, it's Reed's Cafe and Catering. It's a local catering company here in Boone, North Carolina. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they, they make some great food. Did you just say Boone, North Carolina? Because I'm from Lexington, North Carolina. Yeah, sure did. Up, I'm here up in the mountains. All right. If I'm up in the mountains, man, I might check them out. Good deal. Nice little paint job, and wish you the best out there, James. And Lorello, right? You got it. Appreciate it, fellas. Good deal. Hey, you have a good one out there. You're welcome, James. Lorello, that's a good one. I think, was you in a metalhead, James? No, I'm not. Which one was you in, you remember? I was just in the race room. Ah, okay. I want to make sure I get him back right. Okay, Lorello, so we were close, but as the old saying is, no cigar unless you're 10 and you got a whole pack. Man, we're smacking the ground all the way around it, weren't we? Yes, we was, I tell you. But hey, these guys right now, uh, yeah, they've been doing very good here, and it's good to see, man. A lot of these guys have some real, you know, real sponsors, real, you know, real, real stuff out there on their cars. That's awesome. But lights off on the pace car. We're going back here. Pace cars in. We're going back. Green flag racing here at Phoenix. Tyler Cox is going to uh, lead this one. First time tonight, somebody different has led besides number seven machine of Eric Mick. But that front behind him, they all going double file behind him. Yeah, 21, Todd Gray is right there, buddy. Absolutely, and Eric's got new tires and everything, and he says, well, you might have took the lead later on from me there, 14, but he looks on the inside. He's going to drive it in hard, doesn't almost contact, but good driving job between the two. Woo! That was a close wow. call. Yes, it was. A very good driving job by the seven. He could have very well got into the back quarter panel. Of the 14 of Tyler Cox, but held on to it and decided to come back and go uh, single file. Hey, I what's up, that, Adam? I bet that woke him up. <laughs> it absolutely woke him up. Oh, he's coming <laughs> off a of turn four, all kind of sideways. Who was that? Uh, the number seven of Eric. Carson's oh, no. out. Oh, he spun around, didn't he? No, he didn't spin. Somebody else spun. The 48, Robert Dudley. See what happened to him. Oh, that, that happened in front of him. Robert Dudley was just kind of a victim of circumstance here. Let's go back here again. What happened? It, it looks like the 7 machine. Oh, the 63 got a little loose. Checked the field up in the 707 back there. But Josh Bonwell was involved in the 48. Nowhere to go. Just got in the back end of him and spun around. Don't look like it hurt it too bad. Well, it hurt it. It smashed the back end. Yeah, just a little, little, little bit of bump. Yeah. Well, folks, I tell you what, we appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight. We're live here for the uh, Home Net Hosting and PC Repair Cup Series Go Fast Racing from Phoenix International Speedway Cup Cars. And we're just going to. Uh, it's been a good one so far. Went a caution lap 85 here, 155 in the books. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Get your uh, get your food, get everything you need, and we'll be right back here in a few.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. At those uh, commercial breaks here, we're back here racing with a home net hosting a PC repair cup series, go fast racing tonight at Phoenix International Speedway, and they're back under green flag, flying around this place. And Tyler Cox has got a good jump. And man, we we're talking about earlier on the 21, Todd Cray. He is right there to moved up in the second place spot, and is doing a fine out. job. And yellow flags out as soon as we come. That blame it. Joe Burchett was on the move, wasn't he? Oh, that was a, oh, the, the 40 and the 09 and the 43 uh, spun around. Several cars in the back back there. They were running about two and three wide. Wow. Yeah, he put some dents on that car this time. Yes, he did. Boy, they do. They he? have a couple of them out there, John. A couple of the uh, title sponsor cars out there tonight. <laughs> home net, home net hosting and PC repair. What's well, think about the race so far, to you? I love it. Me too. been a good one hey everybody let me know let me know how everything looks sounds out there and uh i just want to make sure everything looking good to y'all sounding good to y'all gotta make sure everything everything's clean as a whistle gotta have it clean that's right well, it's been a clean race pretty much tonight i mean you know we talked about it on the uh the pre-race here and we'll get a quick race summary here as tyler cox leading it We've had uh, 91 laps completed, total of 155, three lead changes and five cautions. But uh, we, we have had some pretty good long green flag runs here tonight. This track just really ble breeds a lot of cautions out here. Mark Nadeau just went into his pit here and he got poor, poor tire and fuel, but he's sitting there still. There you go. I had to work on a little bit. They really like that RC Cola. That would be uh, yep. Skylar Allen. Skylar's up there in third. He is. Well, he's been out there for 14 laps on his tires. The top three guys did not pit. Now, maybe they're actually, actually the top five didn't pit, but um, fourth and fifth there, they're a little bit less tire wear than the other top three, but maybe they're looking at the fact of you know the old saying tim cautions breed caution yeah doug you remember the old uh old commercials uh royal crown oh, rc cola and a moon pie yeah rc cola and a moon pie yeah man heck yeah i love them things and cheer wine cheer wine based out of north carolina yep not far from where i'm at Oh boy. Absolutely. Tim subtitles. We mean subtitles. I can't put subtitles up in here, fellas. Yeah, we got Joe Ism, so I think we got Tim subtitles. There we go. Are we just making our own show out of this? Tim, you want to bring us to the green? Yeah! Alright, go for it. If I can find him. Well, don't lose the green now. Lost Tyler Cox. <laughs> He's on the there track. There he is. There he is. He's in a red car. And black. And black. Yeah, yeah. All right. Tighten them up, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting ready to go back racing. Pace car picking to turn into the pit lane. We're going to turn these babies loose again. And here goes the pit road. All right. We're on pit road. Bing, bing, bing. And look at Tyler Cox right out there. Joe Burchett right behind him. Yeah, Tyler gets a good jump out front. Eric Mitch right there in the seventh, uh, number seven car. He's got his hands full of Skylar Allen as they battle up. But the top three goes nose to tail. Tyler Cox out front. Joe Burchett in second. 
Eric Mitch right there in the third place. Skyler trying to hang on, but boy, I tell you what, they got bunched up behind him as Joshua Banks right there. He's got his hands full along with James uh, Lorello. James just lost his place. He did, the two by two back there, battling it out just a little bit between Scott Neslin and company. Dylan Voss there. So it's a good battle going on for about the fourth, fifth, all the way back. Yes, it is, Joe. And I tell you what, up here front right here, I think Joe Burchett was wanting that lead for a little bit. Oh, 61's oh, around, caution's out. That started up front here. Oh, Evan Marlowe got loose, got into the side of the 61, and then Jeff just couldn't hold on to it. And the problem was, guess what? <laughs> he just spun right in the middle of the field and a couple other machines, nowhere to go. And it's just a chain reaction from there. I tell you what, Joe, I've been in that situation before. Oh, I have to, you know, there's just nothing you can do. It's, it, it's racing, really. Yeah, but when you get caught up in something, you can't go nowhere. It, it's rough. Absolutely. Well, you know, Eric, just, to, just Eric and Jordan out there, you're talking about you'd watch it, uh, watch the show. Um, me and Tim, at one time, we actually did a show called the, uh, what did we call it? Oh, come on. Man, I, look. The man, Old my Gentleman's mind, yeah. Podcast. Hour. Well, see, there you go. The name of it's Old My Mind's Old. So there we caught it we had anyway. fun too yeah we did why well, do it again me and tim we just get up here crack up play some games talk and y'all can hear us yip yap yeah you wouldn't you'd be surprised i tell you we had a, we had good audience we did but it needs to just be me and you we don't need to be bringing anybody else around because we we the old southern dudes we'll just have us a talk show there you go Old Southern guys. <laughs> what we can do is we can do a weekly podcast on the uh, on the races, recap of the races of the week, and say, ladies and gentlemen, Tim McBride, Joe White up here, we're the two Southern old guys, and we're going to bring in some podcast racing for you. There you go. <laughs> the last one we had was the trucking. Yeah, uh, there you go. Yeah, we did uh, some trucking. You know, we'll get up there, play some games, talk about some racing. So, yeah, but anyways, that that's fun. The old Southern dudes, yep, <laughs> that's right. Uh, but it's been a good race so far, you know, and, and I appreciate Tim being up here. We appreciate everybody tuning in. You got Eric up front. You got that top spot back, and uh, I think Tyler Cox opted to go into the pits. Oh, boy. Yes, he did. Tyler going back to Bill. Yeah, so we're going to see if he can't bring that muscle, that thing, back to the front here. As we're getting set, Todd Cray right there in the 21 is going to start out in second. Joshua Banks up in third. Skylar Allen fourth. Carl Hughes, haven't talked about him tonight, but he is up to fifth, started 20th. He's moved it up into fifth place. we got some... Name we ain't been talking about up there. Yeah, Jeff Webker. He started 11. It's up in the sixth. I think that's Carl Hodges. Carl what? Hodges. Yeah, it's Hodges or Hughes or Hodges or I'll just say Carl. <laughs> How's that? All right. Carl. I'm trying my best to find it. It's Hodges, I think. Yeah, well, I'm going to just stick with Carl. Better safe than sorry. I had like me when I was young. I didn't care what they called me as long as they called me in time to eat. Sometimes they didn't do that. Yeah, I know. Terrible. <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what, uh, the number seven, Eric, he's up front again. We'll see what he can do on this restart here from Phoenix. We're at the GoFastRacing.us here tonight with the home, home net and hosting PC repair here live from Phoenix in the desert. Been a good race so far. That seven up front, he's going to lead them around as that pace car lights are off. Coming into turn three here. 
get us back racing the 21 of Todd Cray on the outside at 36 back there. Joshua Banks pace cars in turn four. Going to duck off on pit road and let these boys hammer back on the gears here again. Pace cars in. Here we go. We're back. Green flag racing to Phoenix. Seven gets a good start as he muscles his way to the front. The 21 of Todd Cray is trying to defend his position back there. But here comes on the inside, though, with the 36 of Joshua Banks as they come in at turn number two. He is going to try to dive going into the dog leg and take that second spot. Yeah, it is, Don. I think, I think Todd will fell asleep. He went to sleep on that restart. Yeah, but look at Todd Craig cross back over, look to the inside, coming out of turn four into turn one. Now he's going to try to look to the high side. Yep, they say that low side ain't gonna get it done. Ooh, he just crossed over and went back down to the dog leg. Let's see if he can't, man, muscle it down there. Is that 21 machine? Well, he's got birds, pets, and everything coming out of turn four flying. Yeah, feathers flying, being careful. Absolutely. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. No. He done a good job, though, holding it there. That, that was pretty good. He did. Well, he's still all over the back end of that 36 of Joshua Banks as he's trying to muscle, trying to get there. Here comes Tyler Cox, though, and that 14. These two guys better watch what they're doing up there because Tyler will definitely get up there, sneak in, and go on by him. Yeah, Tyler's in fourth place right now. He'll get it done. He's done one, two this year, ain't he, Joe? I'd have to go back and look. Look at Tyler Cox. We just said it. He just went by both of them to take the second place spot. He's man on the mission. He is on the move. He muscled his way past the both of those machines. And here comes another guy, Joe Perchett. He's up in the fifth place spot, and he's going to look to try to take it on the inside of those gentlemen. Yeah, laps winding down here at Phoenix. Yeah, they are, and it's went in a hurry, ain't it? It has. Even you know, even with the few cautions we've had out here, actually, it's been a pretty good one so far. The battle right now is for third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah, Burchett and Carl is up there, and Dylan Bossy coming in there. Skyler Allen almost clocked the wall. By the way, did clock it a little bit. He got all kinds of loose coming out of the turn. James in that number 13 machine, he's falling off pace a little bit. Evan Marlowe back there in the back. Back here to Rick, uh, Rick Mitchell. They got Rick Mitchell and Rick Mitchell Jr. And I'm gonna take a guess that they are father son. Yeah, that's what I, I stabbed at it last week. Now I gotta ask something. <laughs> I don't mean no offense or anything when I say it, but I'm gonna say the dad is Rich Mitchell and the son is Rich Mitchell Jr. Now that's just I'm off with the, how we said the genealogical tree or ever, however you say that thing. But Rich Mitchell is, uh, He's in a Viagra car. And that thing just does not look very good tonight. Yeah, I, I, I ain't got nothing to say about that. But it's looking a little soft. Yellow flag is out. Yellow flag's out. And that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be Jeff uh, Webker. He was up front. Whooper, yeah, Whooper, Webker. And actually, he got tagged by the 13. Let's see, maybe those guys were, he was actually up front. Oh, just got loose, come out of four, checked up. And I think the 13 just, oh yeah, just contact between the two, the 09, up into the wall there, just a little bit smacked. Well, there he goes back. Hmm. Wow, did he go back, man. Jordan says, that's my bag, Ricardo. I hear you. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
I ain't got it. Hey. Uh, That's what Mark Martin drove for the Viagra. He car. did. Drove for many years. Did very good yes, at it. I like did. old Mark yes, Martin did. back in the day. I wanted him to win so bad there at Daytona that day, but he just wouldn't block. Yeah, and, you know, it's uh, probably one of the best drivers. There's a few of them out there, but I'm going to say he's one, he was one of the best out there to never win a championship in NASCAR. And, uh, but you know, he was close, but you know, he's probably, he was probably one of the best to drive and probably just never, never actually complete and win a championship. He lost it by three points one year yep. and four another. Yep. Uh, like I say, very close in, in, in the battles he had and, uh, just, uh, didn't pull it off and whatnot, but still phenomenal. Uh, like I say, one of the best race off pit road going to be won by the seven machine there the 41 is going to get up there along with todd cray and company so those guys man were definitely battling they coming off pit road they, they were coming out of there hot and heavy weren't they absolutely have to be watching that speed cam speedometer i mean absolutely well john i uh i watched nascar way back in the early 80s been watching it since then which i guess i could say maybe in the 70s but really i was really a little too young at that point but well, back in the 80s. well wait a minute well what? we know you were old you weren't no no <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> gee we is <laughs> we is old enough to remember like freaking dirt yeah. now. <laughs> you you old enough to remember in the 70s how's that no kidding I'm, I, I barely remember the 70s. I was, I was born in the 70s. Oh, Jesus. See? I go. remember the 60s. Folks, I'm yes. going to keep on last. I'll tell my, my dad. I know. Folks, don't worry. I do have a mummy in the booth with me. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, good guy. Though. Now, we, we, um, I mean, I've been watching for a long time. Tim's been watching for a long time, so... We take it back a, a long way. It's, it's involved, man, NASCAR has over the years. We've talked about it. You know, a lot of people nowadays talk about, well, what, what NASCAR is now. What you got to look at, though, is it's a generation thing. Uh, drivers back when we were growing up and, and racing, uh, to be able to do what they do now in the cars, I mean, everything's advanced and whatnot. So it's, it's, it, it's a different type of thing. Yeah. Back when Richard Petty won his seven championships, it wasn't it wasn't really that hard. All he had to do is, is, is you know put it up front. Well, you know but, another thing, uh, Tim. You remember when Richard Petty did all that? See, a lot of people don't remember the fact is they raced almost 80 races a year because there was races like well the track here in Winston Salem, North Carolina, Bowman Gray Speedway was one of a, a sanctioned NASCAR race. Uh, racer, there was a lot of small tracks that were safe and tracks that they run. So if we get back to the green flag, we'll get back in this in a second. We'll go back green flag to Eric up front. He took the high line that time along with Todd Cray. He gets a good jump. So we're back green flag here at Phoenix. But uh, just to go off what you was just saying right there, uh, Tim, uh, back when Richard Petty was doing it, you got to remember they were doing almost probably 50 to 80 races a year. I know that's what I was going to say, but I got cut off. Well, we had to go back to green. I wasn't talking about that. What are you talking about? You come up with it before I did. Oh, my bad. Well, you know, it, well, it, but you're right. You're right, Tim. I mean, you know, it's, it's it definitely, uh, um, it, it's just a different era. And people forget about that. You know, a lot of the young generation now, they forget about how NASCAR was. We know that as being, you know, <laughs> I guess we take it back to being the old guys again. But we, we know how it was back then. Well, uh, I tell you, they had more races per year, and that's where he got all his championships. Uh, it's changed a lot, Joe, since then. Uh, I, I don't necessarily like the way they're doing now, but, you know, that's Junior doing that, you know. Yeah, and like I say, it has to involve man, and, and, and just go with the times and whatnot. Well, good run right now. Tyler Cox trying to keep his uh, 
the third place. He's in a good battle along with Joe Burchett right there. And the 41 puts right on his back, Derek Lid. And he's on the outside, 21 in the wall. They touch. Joe Burchett just took the second place away from Tyler. Absolutely. Hey, what's going on, Jake? How you doing out there? Jake um, Elston, I believe I say say last name. They bumped again. Yeah, they are. Back there, it's beating and banging, trading paint a little bit. Kind of get a little racy. Oh, moved Whoa, up the track. Hit him again. Oh, wow. Bumping and running. Uh, Todd Cray, ain't, uh, he's coming again. <laughs> yeah, Todd's not giving up that spot too easily. No, he ain't. That's good racing right there, Joe. Yes, it is. Uh, by, that's a battle, folks, for the third and fourth place spot. And that would be between Tyler Cox, Todd Cray, as they're just uh, they're leaning on each other pretty good. Yes, they were. And I tell you what, it ain't always up front that has the best race going on, people. Oh, it's, absolutely. It's, it's a little bit further back right now. Yeah, right now, because the seven of Eric, he's up front. He's got a 1.5 second lead. Joe Burchett's right there in second. Tyler Cox, we're watching him. And then Todd Cray, Joshua Banks, rounds the top five. Now, uh, Josh, I mean, I don't, I don't know how he got away from him. Tyler Cox got away from him, though. I don't either. Joshua Banks is closing in on the back end there of Todd Cray. Let's see if he can't make that pass on him. Uh, he's moving up the place. Uh, you know how that is, though. Mm -hmm. You can get there, but see if you can pass me. Yellow flag. Another caution. 61, Jeff Smith. Oh, he just come out of turn four, loses it, punches the inside retaining wall, and now he looks like a mean bulldog. Yeah, tore it up a little bit. Mm hmm Well, we do appreciate everybody tuning in and watching tonight. Been a very good race. Um, you know, got the people out here. Like I say, we're live here tonight. YouTube, Twitch, iRacing Live. And we're here tonight with the uh, HomeNet Hosting and PC Repair Cup Series Go Fast Racing from Phoenix International Speedway and the Cup Cars out here. And Tim, we're getting down here to about 25 laps to go. And I'm going to tell you what, Joe, we ain't seen no racing yet. We ain't. I've been watching race all along. Oh, well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I had this. I, uh, I Eric <laughs> Big's bringing them in. <laughs> uh, yes, he is. Eric's bringing them down. So everybody on pit road. But you're right. Uh, and you know what I always like to say? Business is about to pick up and to run what you brung up front. I'm surprised we don't see some fenders and things by his next segment. Well, you know, we already started seeing some paint rubbing up front, so I think these guys now will probably start to get a little bit racy, like you just said. Yeah, the friendship goes out the door from here out. Oh, yeah, a lot of these guys said they smacked the mama man to win the race. Yeah, well, <laughs> I never would have smacked my mama because I wouldn't live through it. <laughs> Well, me either, but I'm just saying. Oh, I'll tell you what happened to me one time, Joe. Uh, Mama told me to get some firewood before I went to school, and I made a mistake, brother. I said, no. Yeah. That was the worst mistake I made right there. Terrible. Oh, uh, Mama said, okay, go ahead. Go on to school. I'll tell you what. You'd get put in jail doing that today. <laughs> well, I'll tell you I, what, real I, quick, real quick before we go back to caution, uh, before we get off the caution here, I'll bring up uh, Evan Marlowe here and get a talk in with him. Uh, All right. Evan Marlowe, Joy in the booth, got a copy. I 10 4, you away. guys got me. Oh, <laughs> I, was I think he stepped away, but hey. How's that 22 machine feeling out there? Uh, I'm actually not very happy with it here. I, Phoenix is one of my worst tracks, so just kind of uh, learning as I go through this race. It hasn't been the greatest to me. Uh, well, you're in 10th place right now. You hung about that way last week, and then he was able to get up in the top 10, top 5. But 
You know, Phoenix just one of them tracks like we was talking. It's kind of tough out here, but you think you can maybe find something out here in the last 25 laps or so? Yeah, I hope so. You know, if I walk away with the top 10 here, it'll feel like a victory for me. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll see what happens here towards the end. Maybe a little strategy. Uh, maybe a little bad luck on other people's part to get us up there. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, Evan, man. It's always good to get a talk in with you and wish you the best out there. I appreciate it, guys. All right. Hey, Evan. What you in? Yeah. Let up in turn four, brother. <laughs> yeah, I learned that. I, I apologize. Got into Jeff there and I uh, beat myself up pretty bad. I uh, hate being dirty like that. I, I want, I want dirty. Jeff I want again. what I'm talking about, though. You All let right, up we're going back green four, flag. We're going back around. 10. 10. We're going back green. I got to let him go. All right. Go. Thanks, guys. All right, man. Yeah. Was you in turn four racing, Evan? Gone. Yeah, I don't know what I don't remember what which one he was in. I don't put him in turn four. All right, we're getting set to go by green flag racing here. Face lights are off. They're coming out of turn four. Let these boys man go back to work like they are. Pace cars in. We're going back green flag up front here. The 41. Green flag. Green flag. man's out front there, and he is gone. Gets a good jump out there. It's the first time for the 41 machine being up front. Yeah, Tyler Cox is on the inside of Eric Mick, too. Yes, he is. And them two guys, man, are going to get racy before it's over with. Yes, they are, Joe. And that's seven. Here comes the 36 up there in the mix of Joshua Banks. Yeah, Todd Gray, too, is back here. Well, you know, we're going to have about 20 laps to go here soon. The seven does the crossover move, Eric. We're going to see if they're going to have anything for that 41 machine up there. I think uh, it's going to be a different when it comes 10 laps to go. Absolutely. Well, you know, right now, the 14 of Tyler Cox is, man, on the move. That seven machine is back in, in third. Don't count him out. But the 41, Joe Perchett, you know, he's been slowly but surely and kind of just hanging out back there third, fourth all race long. I think now he might have showed his hand, and I think he's got something for him. Yeah, he kind of laid back a little bit there, Joe. I was watching him, and I knew he had the power. So I was watching him, passing him, guiding him, and then he'll lay back a little bit. That's what you do when you get at the end of the race like that. You save your power until the end. And he did a fine job of it right now. It's paying dividends. He's out front in the 41 with about, uh, well, right now, we actually got 20, 25 laps to go. Yeah, it's still a little bit early. Yeah, uh, we're running about 26 lap time, so they're doing roughly about two laps a minute, uh, give or take, so it won't take too long. It looks a little even up front. Joe Burchett right now is holding his line. He needs he's about three-tenths ahead of Tyler Cox and Eric right there who are just running single file. Now, I don't know if this is by design or if, uh, or if that's all they've got. Uh, I've been watching Tyler Cox. He got pretty, pretty good uh, hood full of motor. I've watched him. Uh, he'll pull up her. Right. Whoa, Eric Mitch come out of turn four, all kinds of sideways. He lose some ground. Yes, he will, because he's got the 36 of Joshua Banks on the inside. They made contact, and he again has to hold on to that seven machine. Wow. Well, here comes Tyler Cox. Here comes the four machine that we haven't seen. Carl Hughes, eyes. Ooh. Hedges. 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 I hedges. I don't make me do that. I don't know. If Carl's all I'm going to go with. <laughs> hedges. Hedges or something like all right, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get confirmation sometime, but we, I'm going to stick with uh, Carl. That's his first name, yeah. Yeah. A good safe bet. <laughs> Give him back one of them. <laughs> well, he's got a good paint job on that four. Hazy signs. Yep. It's on there. It's like kind of psychedelic paint job a little bit. Yeah, Tyler. Hey, no flag again. Ooh, that's oh, a big boy. one. That's going to include. 
Oh, the 09 and the 1, Steve Parks and uh, Jeff uh, Webker got to get Oh, and Evan Marlowe, nowhere to go. Got a little contact in the front. Was back in the back. We just talked to him a minute ago. Wow. That poor fella been in that situation twice tonight, Joe. Yeah, just not very, uh, just not been able ain't, to get, move out of anything. No. His luck just ain't going his way tonight. I'm over here fixing to climb the walls. What are you doing that for? Get ready for the end of this race. Oh. Well, we're in the booth. What are you climbing walls for? I got some hot dogs over here I'm going to get a hold of. I got tacos. <laughs> oh, Formula Lord. Drift NASCAR edition. Yeah, you're right. He was drifting <laughs> that thing. All right. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, boy. We're coming in for the last pit stop. I believe pretty much it is right here, unless we maybe see a caution here real quick, but I doubt these guys will bring it in. We'll see. Hey. Uh, let's watch the, uh, the pit stop here of... Uh, Tyler Cox and see who maybe wins that race off pit road. I mean, the seven has the best pit stall. That don't always mean anything. Now, here they come. But the seven took two tires. Oh, Most of them took no. two tires. Wow. A lot of them took two tires. Ow. I, I wouldn't do that. Well, when we go back green flag, they're going to have roughly a little over 15 to go. I think what they're anticipating here with that call, and um, you know, I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing, is another caution. Another crack up. Yep, there you go. Eric out there said he's got pizza, by the way. I heard that. That's going to make me get my sweet tooth going. No, she didn't have to. Well, you know what I'm talking oh. about. Yeah, get your sw sweet gum. Used to be. Sweet gum. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I remember sweet gum when I was younger. Oh, look. Oh, look. I could say Tim's going to get his sweet lip running. But I was going to finish this, and I, <laughs> then I let it go. Uh, when, I, when I jumped off the edge of the porch going towards the schoolhouse, a stick of stove wood hit me right in the back. Oh. Oh, so I've done that a couple it. times. I, uh, uh, Mama, you don't say no to me, boy. That's, I, oh, Lord. That, 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 that's right. That's right. Nowadays, they don't care, Bubba. Nah, not really. Well, the thing these guys care about is, is this finish of this race. And the two guys up yeah. front, Eric Mitch and Tyler Cox, they're about to have a uh, shootout here because when we go back green flag, they're going to be 16 to go, and it's definitely going to be business picking up up front. You can bet Tyler Cox is going to do everything he can do to get up there. Absolutely. He's going to start on the outside. The seven's going to have the uh, the leader the leader advantage here. And Tim, will bring us to the green. I can do it. All right. Ice car coming in turn four. Come in there, turn four. <laughs> Oh, wrong water. Sorry, right, they'll be there in a minute. All right, we pull them up one more time there, ladies and gentlemen. Base cars in turn four, base cars off. We got a green flag, green, green, green. Green flag, green flag. Oh. Tyler Cox fell asleep for the wheel. Yeah, he did. Didn't get the start that he wanted, but that's going to give the 41 an advantage there. The problem is the 41 of Joe Perchett. He's got Todd Cray on his outside. He's got to going to mix yeah. it up now. They're single file up front. You got a 19 coming up there, too. He's getting in the mix a little bit. Oh, no, Caution's out. Dylan Boss was coming, too. Caution's breed caution. Yeah. They won't go in this time. Nope. It happened back here in the background with the 61 machines. I'm going back here looking right fast. 
Oh, he got in the back end of 63. 63 held on to it. And everyone kind of just uh, checked up from there. Uh, Rick Mitchell. Yep. I tell you what, Rick, uh, Eric Mick has been fast tonight, Joe. He's had a very fast car. He's led 140. Oh, he's led. Excuse me. Let me go up here and get the exact number. He's, he's actually led 104. 104. 104. Yeah, he was on pole. He's currently out front, and he's led 104 laps here tonight. I heard that. Thought it was about man, 85. Well, the man right behind him, who's led 21, who uh started fifth and currently second Tyler Cox he's been uh, the one man up there who's been kind of a thorn in the side of the number seven all night long let's we'll see if he can't get another good start here I believe we're gonna see some rubbing and, and bumping oh yeah because we're less than 15 to go yeah you take them to the green this time okay I'm gonna get my buddy bar why Freddie ain't done got it. Hey. <laughs> All right. Appreciate everybody tuning in. We got set to go back green flag racing, and uh, when we go back, probably going to have about 14, about 15 or 16 laps left here. These guys, man, are going to uh, storm off here at Phoenix International Speedway. Plus, we're here live tonight for the. Home net hosting the PC Repair Cup Series. Go fast racing here from Phoenix International Speedway. Very good race so far. These guys have put on a good show. And the man right there, that number seven, who was out front all night long, a lot of it. The lights all on on the pace car, but they're getting set to go up. So uh, I definitely, when they go back green across the line, it's going to be 16 here at Phoenix. We're going to see if that 14 of Tyler Cox has got anything for the 7 machine of Eric. Did he take four tires or two? I, I know, I know uh, Eric took two. Yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't get a shot of what the 14 did. I just got a shot of what the 7 did. i tell you what, 14 laps is a long way. Yeah, I mean, Eric's going to need a good run. Now, he didn't have that much long distance on those other tires, so <clears throat> maybe it won't hurt him too bad. We'll just have to see. We can find out. Absolutely. Well, here we go. Lights on pace cars coming into turn number three right now. The seven machines hold back a little bit. As we're going to go racing here, when the cross the line, it's going to be lap 143. We'll have 155 in the books here tonight, though. Two things I like to say. Last lap puts an end to it. Five to go if caution comes out. That usually puts an end to it. As pace cars coming out of turn four. And the number seven's holding back just a little bit. Tyler, you don't want to get black flag if you don't watch it. I'm going to jump the start there. The seven's got to be very careful. He is on two. Green flag flies. We're racing here. He's heading off into turn one. Seven of Eric Mitch. He gets a good jump, and he takes it to the point. Here comes the 21 of Todd Cray on the inside to try to take that second spot. He got a bump then. Absolutely. Good race up front here. The battle for the lead of 41 looks on the inside, though. That's actually Joe Burchett. They're battling it out for third, battling out for the lead. Contact 21, Todd Craze around. Uh oh. Oh. So trouble in paradise. Joe Burchett. Yeah, the 41, they just made contact to a race, and the 41 just got up the track a little bit. 21 there, Todd Craze slams the inside wall. And then gets hit a little bit in the front right there. I hate to see that, but well, I'll tell you what, well, they're not going to be too. Uh, too much going on in that paradise machine right there. Well, mm. well put us under caution here. Now it's going to get interesting. 
I'm I'm anxious to see if them two tires are gonna hold him off. Keeps getting cautions, it will. <laughs> I mean, well, he did good the last run there, so you got to look too. And here's the thing, Tim, we were talking about. He took the call, he took that, but you got to remember the caution prior to that. He probably only had maybe what about three or four laps on those other set of tires. So it might not be as bad as what we're thinking. It's probably going to loosen that car up a little bit. But, um, you know, you know and I know if he keeps getting these cautions real quick, eventually it's going to end the race, but also out there kind of helping him. Yeah, but he got Superman right behind him there, Joe. A little early to call him Superman. We all knew him, man. You got a bad, fast machine, though. That's what I was saying. It makes you feel like Superman. There's a, two advantages a seven has. Um, one, time. Two, he gets to go on the restart because he's the leader. Uh, so those two advantages really help him. To, to try to get an advantage over that 14 of Tyler. Now, like you said, if it goes green flag, it could play in Tyler's hands. I think the seven's looking at the fact there may be a caution coming out here. But then again, you never know. I mean, he could hold him off the rest of the way. Yep, three laps. He'll be down, boy. What are you eating? Them and them. <laughs> Lord, well, at least I wasn't right. eating them while I was talking. Come on, man. Work with me here. We got to sound a little professional now. I'm working with you. <laughs> Choke it up over there. Right? <laughs> if y'all if y'all don't hear anything from Tim, that means he fell out on me. Nah. Well, this has been a good race so far, though. I, I, I've enjoyed it all, all throughout. Um, a typical Phoenix, though. A uh, real quick race summary. And we've had 11 cautions, which I think we were talking before the race. Now, that's not the record I've had here to race before. Folks, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I've had 20-some cautions at Phoenix before. So this place really is just its just notorious for cautions. Eric Mick took the top, though. He did. He did that about a couple uh, cautions ago, uh, or restarts. Took the top side. Maybe he's thinking that's going to help his tires coming into the turn. I don't know, but they got to know one thing. Joe Bird's hit right there under him. Yes, he does. The 41. Count out that 21, neither. And maybe oh, he's also 19, looking at the... Uh, maybe he's also looking at the fact of maybe pinching down that 14. 19, 14, yeah. Well, we should be going here. It should be the green flag here. As the pace car's in, this should be the final time. The seven does get a good jump of Eric. Here comes that 19 on the high side. That's Dylan Voss right there. As look at the 41, dies on the inside. Wow, contact, but there's a battle for a second. Boy, are they there. Oh, I come to the Joe Perchette in the bottom. And this is what actually the number seven wants to see. Those guys battling it out behind him and it gives him more room to go because another lap or so here, if a caution comes out, they'll pretty much put it in the race win. He sure will. It's a good battle going on for a second right there. I'm sorry about that, Wargo. You caught me. Oh, you're fine. Right now, the seven of uh, Eric, he's doing very well. But look at the 19 took the second spot from Tyler. And that is exactly blocked going down the front stretch. That, and they're two men behind him right now. See, this is exactly what Eric wants to see in his rear view mirror. Yes, it is, Joe. And I tell you what, they'll probably end up getting into one another for a with. Well, they almost did coming down the front stretch right there. That brings the 41 of Joe Burchett. And it's letting the number seven of Eric Mitch right there walk away with four to go here at Phoenix. Yeah, he's, it's his to lose now. 
Yes, it is. A seven up front, but behind him, the 19 has got a full on, and the seven just, uh, the 14 of Tyler Cox just moved that machine out of the way. Oh. Getting racing. Beat, yes, they are, and they are beating and banging door fender to door fender here at Phoenix for the second place spot. This man right here running away with the show. Absolutely. 41 made it around Tyler Cox. I just don't think he's got enough time to run down that man up there. No. Well, that is what the seven needed with those guys to get back there and just start knocking each other half to death. They've been doing that all night, yo. Yeah, well, they were a little civil earlier on, but you're right. The race went on. Guess what? Like you, what'd you say earlier? Patience throw out the window. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, right friendship now. Friendship too. Yeah, friend, yeah, that's what we say, friendship. Well, Eric has only got about, he's going to catch the white flag this next time by. Joe Burchett, though, Tyler Cox is not done with him yet. So the battle's for second spot as the white flag's out here at Phoenix. Uh, he ain't got enough time to catch him, Joe. No, he doesn't. Battle for second spot right now. Last turn, last time. That man, he's going into turn three. Eric Mitch, he's going to pull it off. He's got one more turn to come out of the battle for second. Tyler Cox is just not going to be able to catch him here. But the man who wins it tonight in the seven machine, Eric Mitch, Joe Burchett comes in second. Tyler Cox sitting in third. Hit Mickey. M-I-C-K-E. Yeah, Mickey, yeah, Mickey. Let's get something like that. Mick, Mickey. We'll figure it out. I'll tell you what, he brought it home. He did, he held him off. Well, 19 wasn't too proud of it, was he? <laughs> well, you know, unless you, unless, you, unless you win, you're usually never proud. All right. But I get up there and thank him, you know, or yeah. congratulate him. Yeah, well, it is. we got Eric Mickey, or Eric Mick. Joe Burkett and Tyler Cox to talk yep. to. Yeah, I'm finding them right now. Eric ain't gonna have no tires when you get through. That's all right, burn them down. Trying to find Eric, where's he at? Back in the pit. Got Joe Burchett. Where's Tyler Cox? We had a hard time finding him last time. I think that's it right there. I think that's him right here. We'll find. We'll find out. I think that's him right there. Tyler. Yeah, I think it's Tyler. Well, I'm gonna bring old Tyler up here. Let's get talking with him, third place man tonight. Tyler Cox, just tell Matt Bray in the booth. You got a copy? I do, buddy. What's up? Oh, what a race, man. I'm going to tell you what. <laughs> that last few laps was a, was a humdinger, wasn't it? It was. A little beating and banging, but that's all right. That's short track racing for you. Well, that's, that's racing, period. Remember, remember what the old man said. That's right. If you ain't got a few scrapes, you ain't been trying hard enough. That's right. <laughs> i tell you what, man. You you done good all night long, and, and we've talked about you each week there, Bubba, and you're keeping it up to the front. And how'd that car handle there at the last? It felt pretty good. Uh, I wish we could have had a few more green flag at the end of the run, because I know uh, Mickey took two tires, so I think these would have fallen off, and me and Joe would have had a chance with the four fresh good years, but that's all right. It was a good win by him. Uh, but the car felt great, a little bit loose on the longer run, which made you drive, and I was I was more quicker on the longer run than I was the shorter run. With about 20, 22 laps on your tires, with that turn four, would it pretty slick? Yeah, right in the middle and, and off, it was pretty loose there. I heard that. You got anybody you want to thank that, bro? Yeah, I'd like to thank Go Fast Racing League, obviously. A uh, great league to be a part of. You guys for broadcasting, uh, Team Overtake, uh, Adam, Joe, 
uh, Tim, Derek, Lennon, um, everybody a part of that. Uh, my sponsor, Big Dog Concrete out of Oxford, Maine. If you guys need concrete work, send me a message, and I'll get you hooked up with them. And if uh, you say you were referred by me, then you guys get a discount. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's everybody a part of it, everybody that uh, helps out each week, obviously, my mom and dad. And, uh, yeah, just thank the Lord. Appreciate you too there, Tyler. And um, maybe we can get to talk to you next week again. Uh, you have a good one, brother. Enjoy that third place, yeah? Thank you, Bob. You too. Damn boy. All right, Tim. Third place man right there, Tyler Cox. Did a fantastic job all race long. Just uh, a little bit uh, a little bit racing there at the end. Let's bring up our uh, second place man, Joe Burchett. Let's get to talk him with him. Joe Burchett, you got a copy of Tim McBride in the booth? Yes, I do. Oh, boy. That was a race, was it not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, wish we had uh, a couple more green flag laps there towards the end. Uh, I think me and Tyler could have possibly had something for, for Eric there. Uh, you know, with, with him taking two and uh, with us on those four tires. But uh, I think he uh, he ran the, the perfect race there at the end to grab, steal the victory away. Yeah, he had the perfect line on that track too. There, Joe. Um, he he amazed me the way he did. He led a lot of laps tonight. Yeah, I mean, he was definitely the for the beat tonight. Uh, I think there on that uh, uh, one long run, about uh, midway through the race, when uh, Tyler was able to catch him, uh, me and him started to figure out, uh, you know, his his strategy and the, the way he, his pace on the uh, car and uh, we were trying to set it up that if we could get another long green flag run towards the end we would have his strategy and be able to possibly stay right there with him uh, at the end but uh, you know it's Phoenix short track uh, you know it's uh, usually tons of cautions here and you know it's just what ended up happening and uh, you know I'll, I'll definitely take second place it's still a good point today Oh, yeah. Congratulations there, Joe. Uh, we got plenty of races to go, brother. Is there anybody you want to thank? I just want to thank uh, everybody that swamped us for allowing me to run that car every week. Uh, thank all the guys over at Overtake Motorsports, uh, Adam, Derek, Tyler, Tim, uh, Landon, and, you know, the rest. Everybody knows who they are. And, uh, you know, just thank you guys for coming on doing this broadcast allowing us to be on iRacing Live each week and uh, you know thanks to uh, Skyler for putting on a heck of a league uh, it's fun to show up every week and race against all these guys alright brother you have a good one and enjoy that here we'll talk to you later alright thank you man alright Tim that was our second place man right there Joe Perchette well let we'll off down here in the victory lane of this man here tonight led 119 laps and he pulled it off with a good pit stop strategy call at the end eric go out the booth got a cop yes i do well, i'll tell you what that last pit stop you took two tires did you think that was going to pay off for you i was hoping <laughs> i didn't really i didn't really know um if the uh if it was going to pay off how much those left side tires were going to burn me um, but I knew they weren't wearing that much after about 10 laps, and that's all I had on them. So I just kind of uh, went for it because at that point, it was the only thing I could think of that was going to put me back in contention for the win. Well, absolutely. Well, it was a good call there. You was able to hold it off. You needed those guys behind you. They started beating and banging and racing hard and let you get just far enough ahead. Well, you led 119 laps here, so you really dominated a lot of the race here tonight. How was the car throughout the whole entire run here? Um, I, I kind of always struggle with Phoenix. Sometimes I'm on it, sometimes I'm not. Tonight I kind of felt I was in the middle. Um, definitely had a good feel for the car for the first half of the race, and then when I tried moving around, um, when uh, uh, Cox ran me down, um, I tried moving my line around to see what I could do to pick up some pace and keep up with him on those longer runs, and I kind of just lost the feel for the car. Um, so yeah, like I said, that, that towards the end, I knew that track position was going to be my only shot to, uh, come back and win. Cause I didn't think that I was the best car that second half of the race. Oh, absolutely. Well, you did win it. You pulled it off here tonight here for the home net hosting and PC repair 
Go Fast Racing Cup Series at Phoenix. You got anybody out there you want to thank? Uh, yeah, uh, like always, I want to thank Skyler and all the admins for running the uh, for running Go Fast Racing. Um, been a fun league for the first three or four weeks we've been doing this. Um, home net hosting for the sponsor of the Cup Series tonight. And you guys for broadcasting. And I do have to shout out to uh, my... Uh, teammates i racing teammates who i kind of screwed out of a uh, decent 12 hours of sebring today and uh redeem myself tonight but they don't get credit for it so i figured i'd shot them out anyway <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that man. i tell you what but hey you won they racing good deal but either way eric pulled it off here tonight and again congratulations thank you all right tim and i tell you what man a happy guy right there Pulling it off here tonight as we look through our uh, final race results. Eric pulling off the victory along with Joe Burchett in second. Tyler Cox there in third. Joshua Banks in fourth. Dylan Voss fifth. And Scott Nesla in sixth. James uh, Lorello seventh. Carl Hughes there in eighth. John Morris ninth. And Jeff Smith runs top ten. As we look to the rest of it. Wow, Tim. And what's a good race here at Phoenix? I mean, you got any final words on it? Oh, man. It... it it come up to the his his uh oh standard that when when he come in there like that but joe burchett was was there but they didn't they didn't even catch him in time but i tell you what uh all four or five of the front five drivers is great drivers man and and uh they put on a heck of a darn run for us there, Joe. Uh, and I hope the people uh, all over the world, all over the country have watched that and had fun because I sure did. I had to tie myself down in this chair one time there. Uh, it, it was great. And I'm going to say, uh, Dave, uh, Roach, get well soon, my friend. Absolutely. Well, my same sentiments right there, man, of what the Tim said. It was an awesome race here for the Go Fast Racing crowd. But me and Tim will be back in the booth tomorrow night. We got the USRL truck racing action tomorrow. So tune in to the end. We appreciate everybody tuning in here tonight from Phoenix. Everyone, have a good night.